crazy, like this whole lip is slanted, it's pushing right against the wall. Into this wall here. Yeah. And then what about that? That's also And cool. that's a nasty pocket going right past this. I wouldn't even say that uh, I'm not comfortable in water necessarily. I'm navigating on, on this terrain that's inherently scary to me. I don't actually have that much experience dealing with water besides in my kayak. Skookum Creek almost became like a bit of a legend. Talked to people who had paddled it before and people had mentioned this beautiful creek. The quality of whitewater you get on Skookum is quite unreal and quite amazing in the fact that it kind of builds on itself. But it was forgotten after a dam was put on it in 2013 and the kayakers lost the fight to get recreational releases. To me it felt more like a myth of a beautiful creek that has fallen to a victim of another dam. And then recently, because of COVID, there was a reduction in energy requirements, which meant that they just released the natural flow on the river. When we heard that was the case, we decided to check it out for ourselves, and, and that's why we're kind of the first ones to go and paddle it since 2013. I think for the big falls, this will be a perfect flow. Everything else will be the low side of good, but Yeah, I think we lucked out. I'm pretty sure the stars have aligned for today. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think we got this. This could be it. Yeah. As much of an individual sport as it is, it's also very much a, a team sport. So who you paddle with can make a huge difference. A huge amount of trust in Dave's ability on the water, and then also just his general attitude and stoke makes him a really good guy to, to kayak with. When you're running a river for the first time, you don't quite get nervous until you realize that it, it's possible. And, and that's kind of when a lot of the nerves come up because you're not really sure what to expect. There's a lot of unknown. I really try and focus on the moment, deal what's, with what's coming at me. It is kind of always looming in the back of your mind. especially reporting with Skookum, is it has some very big, challenging features. The big one being one of the last rapids of the run, which is the big waterfall.
Alpha, we are five minutes out. Okay, copy. I'll take off soon. Rafa's involvement in this project was pivotal. He's not only an amazing drone pilot, but he's also an incredible kayaker. I very much trust his beta that he tells me from what he's able to see from the drone. Okay, drone is up in the air. So drop in whenever you want. The feeling you get after completing any river is very rewarding. The catch with that kind of feeling and that relief is, is always kind of the next challenge you want to find to, to push yourself. And on the river, those challenges are, are limitless. <laughs> 